Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Joe Kellum. You know I'm the state director for the Illinois Chapter of Americans for Prosperity. And I am really, really proud to be part of a national movement that has dramatically changed the public policy debate in our great country. You know, for so many years, Tax Freedom Day, which is what today is, has been a grim reminder of how much of our hard-earned money we've given government every year. But thanks to groups like Americans for Prosperity and the millions of Americans that have joined the Tea Party movement, there is hope for our future, real hope. And, 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 and I hope for the future of our children and grandchildren. And now, as our nation uh, continues to debate the, the proper role of government, how much to cut spending, and how to get our massive debt and deficits under control, I'm, feel, I'm compelled to remind all of you about how much work we have left to do before, before our, we get our country back. So did you know that the total national debt today stands at approximately $14.3 trillion? That's nearly $46,000 for every citizen in America. And did you know that since President Obama took office just over two years ago, the national debt has grown more, has grown by more than $3.6 trillion. That's an increase of nearly 35%. And of course, the President's policies have added another $1.29 trillion to the national debt in 2010 alone. Now, of course, just a few days ago, President Obama delivered what was billed as his new vision of the nation's budget. So I watched that. Did you guys watch that? Watching the speech, I realized one thing. He was taking us down the same old path of big government, higher spending, more debt, and massive tax increases. So if President Obama really wanted us to believe that he desired to reduce deficits, I actually, we had to ask him why just two months ago did he submit a budget with red ink as far as the eye can see. Yeah. <laughs> Obama should be stopped talking the talk and start really walking the walk. But unfortunately, like his friends on the left, Obama's decided to launch a full-throated attack on real committed leaders like Congressman Paul Ryan, yeah. who, by the way, is walking the walk for real budget reforms and genuine spending cuts. Well, I have news for the President and his left-wing big government special interest groups. Americans have grown increasingly knowledgeable and increasingly angered about the government's explosion of spending and debt. Americans have also realized there is no free ride. Washington's fiscal recklessness has consequences, and these consequences grow worse with every day. Policymakers fail to get our nation's fiscal house in order. Today, taxpayers are looking at their tax returns and wondering how much more their families could have benefited. If only they could have held on to those precious dollars that were siphoned away for bloated stimulus spending, massive new bailouts, and unsustainable health entitlements. We need lower taxes, and we need to ease the burden on private enterprise so that businesses can grow, economic recovery can take hold, and more Americans can find good paying jobs. Jobs. Jobs must be our number one priority. More earners mean more revenues, and creating jobs is a far better way to fund our government than raising our taxes. Now, for the first time in my 20 years in Illinois politics, the will of the majority is finally, finally stifling that of the special interest groups. We, you, all of our voices are finally being heard by those big government tax and spend lawmakers. And what they're hearing right now is cut the spending now. Cut the spending now is what we have to constantly remind these lawmakers because their job is to spend our money. Our job is to stop them from doing that. Ladies and gentlemen, if you don't believe we made a difference, listen. Listen to some of the provisions being discussed today and voted on today. Cuts over $9 trillion in spending over the next decade. Some of the deepest cuts to discretionary spending of any detailed House budget plan that's been out there. Balancing the budget by the year 2020, the dramatic overhaul of Medicare, and most importantly, the defunding of Obamacare. Yeah. Defunding of Obamacare is going to save us $677 billion over the next 10 years. So are we still wondering for making a difference? Now, ladies and gentlemen, believe me, it is clear we have dramatically changed the public policy debate in our country. Frankly, do you think that President Obama would even be talking about cutting the budget if it weren't for us? Thanks to our efforts of 
a majority of our fellow citizens agree with us, finally, that government spending is too high and that those massive budget deficits are a threat to our economic prosperity. But frankly, our work's just begun. Face it, it is much harder to pass legis good legislation than it is to oppose bad bills. That's why it's crucial for you to stay involved. Join credible groups like Americans for Prosperity, join your local activist organizations, get involved in this budget battle and get involved now. Contact your elected officials, contact your lawmakers and tell them all to have the courage to cut the spending now. They're going to listen. They have been listening. They're going to continue to listen. And we can't stop talking. But it's our job to continue the dialogue. And what better day than today, Tax Freedom Day, to recommit ourselves by sending that very message to our lawmakers. Tell them we're through with the job-killing, prosperity-draining, big government agenda that for, has, for so long has animated politics in Washington. We can't afford to sit back. In fact, we have to fight harder than ever, ever, at all levels of government. We must ensure that our elected officials understand that there will be consequences to their actions. The simple truth is that Washington still spends too much, wastes too much, and is not accountable to us, the taxpayers. There's more to cut. So let's make sure that our lawmakers stop complaining and do their job. You'd be amazed. You'd be amazed at how much government you'll never miss. <laughs> imagine, just imagine a better American future. Imagine what Americans can achieve if they are free from Washington's debt burden. Ladies and gentlemen, we face great challenges. But this is still America. We're Americans and we never run away from anything. With your help, we can and we will build a brighter future. Thank you and God.